Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of 30 Days of Sketches. And I'm combining it today with Christmas in March because it is the 25th. And that means we are on day 25. Today's sketch is uh, from Jesse B. Scrapbooking. And it was made exclusively for 30 Days of Sketches. So I'm starting out with this uh, large background stamp from Hero Arts. And... Um, I'm using my Versamark ink pad and I'm just making sure I get it well and covered. And then I'm gonna stick it down on my paper and I am using my brayer to roll it on. Um, I also do have a an acrylic plate underneath my paper there to make sure everything's nice and flat um, in case you're wondering what that kind of bluish outline is. And then I'm just using some white embossing powder to go over the stamp and then I'm going to heat it up and emboss it so that I can use it as a resist. And this is going into my small um, Christmas album. So it is approximately seven and a half by eight and a half. And I think I must be on a Zoom call while I'm doing this because I just showed it to somebody on Zoom. Um, one of, probably one of my scrappy friends. Anyway, I'm gonna heat it up, make sure it is good and um, melted. And I like that you can actually see it from this angle. Sometimes I don't do this over my desk because sometimes it gets the embossing powder all over and I have other things on my desk. But in this case, my desk was nice and cleaned off, so it worked fine. And then I am just going to use some Distress Oxide Spray in Festive Berry. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the packaging technique to apply it. I really like the way that this looks, uh, but I do decide to go ahead and cut everything down and um, mount it onto another piece of paper, which is okay. I mean, it still looks good at the end of the day, but I really liked the way it looked right here. I don't know what possessed me to cut it down, but um, I think following the sketch possessed me too, <laughs> because in the sketch, it does have those hexagons in the middle on a smaller uh, scale and then it's all bordered by a couple of sheets of paper is what it looks like. Um, so that's what I decided to go ahead and do. I'm going to mount it onto a different piece of paper, but you can see there it kind of cut off the edges. Um, I am just using that stamp as my hexagon piece and it, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way that it came out, but um, I was trying, what I'm trying to do is show you a few different ways to use hexagons. If you don't, haven't been watching every single day uh, in 30 days of sketches, this time we have had four different layouts or four different sketches with hexagons on them. And so I'm trying a different application on each one of those days. So this is the last one. And instead of either punching hexagons or cutting my photos into hexagons or, um, whatnot, I decided to stamp some. So I'm definitely distressing up these edges. I like them a little bit on the rough side. And then I'm going to ink them up with some black. I needed something to kind of uh, bring in a darker color because I've got a lot of red going on. And in this album, I do have a lot of black accents. So I want to make sure that I carry that throughout my album. And so I thought this was a good way to do that. I just inking up the edges. It takes a little bit more time because they are distressed and it, you kind of have to work a little bit harder to get the ink to saturate into those distressed areas, but it's not bad. It's, it's not super hard or anything. It just takes a little bit more time. So I did cut the red paper down to the seven and a half by eight and a half, and then I'm going to mount this other piece onto it. And once it's distressed, I really do actually like the way it looks. When I first cut it and I was looking at it, I was like, why did I bother? Why did I cut it? It looked so good at the beginning. But um, once it was cut, distressed, and had the black ink on it, I was pretty happy with it. So I have a photo of my daughter, Noah, uh, my niece, and her daughter in their, uh, at Christmas time. The two kids are in their Christmas stockings. And I have a photo from the first year they were born of them in their stockings. They, uh, she was born one week before Christmas and he's born on Halloween. So they're only seven weeks apart in age. 
and they they were like swimming in those stockings because the stockings are so huge and so I kind of just wanted to capture the difference um, this photo is from Christmas 2020 so they are two in this photo um, they are both much too large to fit in their their uh, stockings now a whole year later but at two years old, they could still fit in them. Um, of course, you know, they're bulging out of them, but they could still fit. And I, I thought it was kind of funny. I actually have a picture of my daughter um, right next to her stocking. And it's almost as big as her when she was about two years old as well. So um, I just thought it was fun. It kind of like a, a repeat of another layout from two years prior. So then I just was going through ephemera trying to find what I thought would go well on here. I tried a couple of different green pieces, but I they had they were from Simple Stories, so they had a lot of cream in the background. And with that bright white on the front, um, I didn't feel like I wanted something that was kind of more on the, the vintage-y distressed kind of a look. I, I don't mind mixing cream and white, but um, this white is super bright, and I didn't want to bring it down at all by adding the cream so I chose these two pieces in blue which I thought worked well there's a blue on the flooring in the photo I think Noah has a grayish blue on his shirt and um, then I pulled out my stamp set from um, Elizabeth Craft Designs and those are called retro labels I'll put a link to those down below so that if you're interested in those um, you can find them easily and on that note, I do use affiliate links, so I do get a commission if you purchase through that link um, on whatever you you buy when you click on that link. So it will take you directly to the product. There is also an affiliate link just for um, scrapbook.com and a couple other places down below for you if that's of interest to you. Um, I am required to tell you that, and that is why there could be a pay paid promotion um, label on my video just so you know I do not get paid for my videos and I would never recommend a product that I would not use so um, now that that's done I needed to stretch that label just simply because I wanted it to be a little bit wider than it was and that is one thing that I'm kind of on the lookout for is a little bit wider uh, label set or a little bit different label set um, because they're so useful you can use them for so many different things they're very versatile and if you've got stamps you can stamp them in any color you want and I'm pretty happy with the way that this came out because the bold black ink on those labels just brings in more of that black um, um, that is around the distressed edge so that made me pretty happy and I do, I like the blue pieces as well. I did uh, ink those up with Black Soot Distress, Distress Ink just to keep with continuity throughout. And I'm keeping this really simple. I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, these sprigs of, I guess they're pine. <laughs> I don't know, um, these pine sprigs. And that is uh, from a Tim Holtz punch and I don't even think they make those punches anymore last time I looked I could not find them anywhere but um that is what it is but a lot of companies have dies and punches that make sprigs like this so uh this is a very useful one if you do Christmas scrapbooking because you can tuck these in anywhere um I've done it with vellum so they're very understated but they still add texture I uh, you've done them in different colors silver gold white um and then all, also obviously in green so while I do my little bit of journaling here, I'll remind you that this is two hops going on today. We have Christmas in links down below for that will be there. And same with the, uh, the links for 30 days of sketches. So go and check out what everyone else is doing on their channel for both of these hops. Um, I'm guessing that some people may have combined them like I did, but there will be other people who did not combine them. I'm just gonna finish it off with these really like light blue kind of stone blue um, enamel dots. It really matches the the color of the blue things. I was like going, what am I doing here? Um, if you, I don't know if you noticed, maybe you were yelling at me while I'm doing this layout, but the background is upside down. The only way I know that is because there are hearts on that background as well, and the hearts were upside down, and I really considered just leaving it, 
but it was kind of bothering me. So I pulled out my really old Creative Memories multi-purpose tool. I peeled everything off and replaced it down um, the right way so that the hearts are going the right way. Because uh, even though somebody else might notice, I would notice and it would bug me until the end of time. So <laughs> it is now done the correct way. And the enamel dots all got replaced and repositioned and they are all adhere going to be adhered down as well. Those enamel dots are from Gina Marie Designs. Um, and I haven't been putting my, the link for her down below, but I'm going to try to remember to do that on this video. So uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, you can leave those down below. If, if I say that I will put a link down below and it's not there, definitely hit me up in the comments. It just means I simply forgot because sometimes I voice them and I don't get them uploaded to the next day. And then I have forgotten what I said I would link it to. <laughs> so my apologies for that if that happens. And um, feel free to leave me a comment and I'm happy to shoot, uh, point you in the right direction. So I do answer all of my comments and I read every single one of them. I really appreciate the time that you guys take to watch my videos and to leave those comments. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. I will be back again tomorrow with another video and I will see you then. Bye-bye.